hi this is olajide from ctf security and welcome to another youtube video on cracking windows passwords in this video we will learn how to extract the ntlm password hashes with precision from the windows operating system but we won't just stop there we will harness the full potential of python to build a customizable brute force attack script basically we have four objectives in this video create a virtual environment to help us manage application dependencies Two, extract the system configuration file and the security account manager file from the windows registry hives three extract password hash from the security account manager database and lastly create a python script to mimic the challenge and response authentication mechanism in windows to crack the hash using a dictionary attack now a very quick disclaimer this video is intended for educational purpose only the purpose of this content is to provide knowledge and understanding of the windows ntlm hash extraction and cracking process it is not meant to promote or encourage any illegal or unauthorized activities always seek proper authorization and use technology responsibly so without further ado Let's get started. Alright, so welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, it is necessary we understand the authentication process in Windows and how passwords are saved within the Windows operating system. Now let's imagine a user called Charles. Charles is attempting to set up a Windows operating system user account. During the account creation process, Charles is expected to choose a password. The window hashes this password supplied by Charles using the NTLM algorithm. This process converts the plain test password into a unique hash value, which is not reversible. The hashed password is then stored securely inside the security account manager database or the active directory domain controller depending on the system configuration when next charles attempts to authenticate such as logging into the windows system or accessing a network resource an authentication request is sent to the server the server responds to the authentication request by sending a random value called a challenge to the client the client receives the challenge and uses it to encrypt the user's hashed password using the NTLM algorithm. The client sends the encrypted response back to the server. The server retrieves the stored hashed password associated with Charles' account and compares it with the received encrypted response. If the two value matches, the authentication is successful and access is granted to the user. Once authentication is successful, the user gains access to the requested system or network resources, allowing them to perform authorized actions. It is important to note that this is a simplified overview of the procedure and various additional security measures may be in place depending on the specific window environment and configurations. Now that we understood how the NTLM challenge and response authentication works, now let's talk about the location of our hashed password. The hashed password can be found in the security account manager file. And at the same time, the security account manager file is stored within the HKEY local machine hive in the Windows registry. This security account manager file contains security related information including user account details password hashes and security policies it is a critical component of the windows operating system that is responsible for authenticating and authorizing user access to the systems now to extract our unique password hash we'll need to extract both the security account manager file and the system file this is specifically because most modern version of windows uses additional protection mechanism such as the syskey features which encrypt sensitive parts of the security account manager database using a system specific key derived from the system files 
By combining security account manager file and the system configuration file, we are able to properly handle the encryption mechanism and obtain the unique password hash. So now that that is out of the way, let's move ahead to the major objectives of this video, which is extracting and cracking the Windows NTLM password hash. But before we get to that, let's verify that we have Python installed on this PC. I'm just going to type Python and this is going to return the actual version of Python we have installed on this PC. I'm going to exit this. Now we can create a virtual environment by using Python dash M B E N V. Then we can supply a virtual environment name. In this case, I'm just going to be using NTLM B E N V to indicate that this is a virtual environment. And I'll just hit the enter key. This is going to create a virtual environment for us. Okay, now that that is done, let's list and see what we have in the current directory. Now we can see that we have a file called, a folder rather, called the NTLM BNV. So what next is for me to activate this virtual environment? And in order to do that, I would need to CD into NTLM BNV. Then from here, we can have access to the files we have listed in this directory so we can access the script so cd script then inside the script let's take a look at what we have so we have the activate.bat which we are going to use to activate this virtual environment now that that is known i can see the dot dot slash just go one step backward and i can activate the script right from this current working directory so i'm going to use the dot slash script slash activate dot bat let's see if that works okay i think i'm missing something missing the s okay so we can see an indication that we have successfully activated the ntlm virtual environment so i can clear the screen now we need to install an impacket tool called secretdump.py, which is a tool we are going to use to extract the password hashes from the security account manager database. Now, before we do that, we need to ensure that our real-time protection settings is turned off on our Windows machine so as not to interfere with the installation process. Now, in order to do that, I'll just go to my start button. I'll search for firewall. And I can go to firewall and network protection. Then we'll click on the virus and threat protection. Click on manage settings. And we can turn off the real-time protection. I'm going to close this. Now we're going to use python-m for module. We're going to use the pip install in packet. And we'll just wait for the installation to finish. This is going to take about uh, a minute or so. Okay, so we have the impacket tool installed. So I can DIR. Uh, let's see it into script and uh, dir on script you can see that we have list of all the installed in packet 2 and this happens to be the secret dump dot pi let's take a look at the list of users we have on this system i'll just use the net user we can see that we have the charles account and we have the hp account which is the account i'm using presently we're going to be dumping their hashes and not forgetting we need to dump two things the first one is the system file and the second one is the security account manager file so i'm going to start with the system file in order to dump the system file we'll run the command reg save hklm then i can issue the system system 
Now you can see that we have operation completed successfully. So I'm going to dump the security account manager file now. We are going to use the same command reg save hklm and I can issue the SAM SAM, which is the name we're giving it. Operation completed successfully. So let's DIR to see what we have. So we should be having two files. We have the SAM file and uh, we also have the okay, I think it's the system file down there. This is the SAM and this is the system file. Before you run the command above, always make sure you have administrative privilege. Now we're going to dive into extracting the actual password hash of this PC. Now, just like I've stated earlier in the video, we need to combine the security account manager file and the system file to be able to extract the actual password hash. And to do that, we'll simply grab the secret dump application name. So I can control C and uh, we're going to use Python. Then I'll supply the application name. Then we're going to issue SAM, specify the file name. Then we issue system. We're going to supply the system file and we're going to issue local. Lastly, I will press the enter key. Now this is going to dump all the hashes it can find within that local PC. Now we can see that we have administrator, we have guest, we have um, HP, we also have Charles account. So we're going to be focusing on the Charles account. So I'm going to grab the hash for the Charles account, Control C, and uh, let's have a notepad, just open up in notepad and uh, I'm going to just copy it right in here so that we have it right here now this is going to take us to the last part of this video where we are going to create a Python script to kind of perform a dictionary attack on this password hash that we just grabbed now what we're going to do first of all is to install the dependency we need our script in order to do that we issue the command pip install passlib which is the module we're going to be using okay i think i have uh, network issues i'm going to just fix that quickly I'm so sorry about that my internet did went off so what we're going to do is to issue the same command pip install passlib all right so we have passlib installed on our system so what we're going to do is to create a python script but before we create the python script we need to first of all set up our word list we're going to use to perform a dictionary attack to create the word list i'm going to use the same notepad i'll call it word list .txt. so we're going to create it I'm, I'm just going to supply some random password password one two three please subscribe and um, let's say ETF security let's say cyber security cyber 109 and lastly all right so these are just some possible password that we are guessing that might be the password and um, let me just put it as a spoiler the actual password is the please subscribe for the Charles account so what i'm going to do is to save this make sure i have it saved so i'm going to close this let's make sure we still have our hash so that is fine in this video i'm using a very short dictionary list uh, you have ample number of dictionary lists you can use out there ranging from the 
rock you the text which contain almost millions of um, more than millions of word lists in your disposal so you can use that as well so i'm using a very short word list to make this demonstration very quick and fast so let's quickly create our python script so we're going to use the notepad and let's call it ntlm decrypt.py and uh, we're going to say yes to create the script and let's make this um, bigger now before we start scripting let's try to understand what we are trying to do right here now since the hash we grabbed from the charles account is not reversible what we can try to do is to hash every single word from the word list i just created earlier then compare the hash with the hash we have for the charles account whichever word that matches the hash that we have from the charles account we can conclude that that is the actual password for the charles account now in order to do this i need to first of all try to import the library i just installed earlier so i'm going to use the from pass lib dot hash then i'm going to issue the import lm hash nt hash now the reason why i'm using both the nt hash and the lm hash is at every iteration of this script i want to get two hashes one for the nt hashes and the other one for the lm hash so let's have a comment and we can say target let's say target hash to search for so the hash we are searching for so that would be our actual hash for the um charles account so i'm going to have it right here so we're going to say target underscore hash which happens to be our variable name equals to i'm going to paste this as a string right here so let's have it here we can have another comment uh let's open the text uh, containing a word list remember our word list text file is called word list.txt so we're going to use the with open and uh, we can issue the word list the text which is the name of the file and we can access this using the read permission and uh, we can open this as a file let's pass those words just a new variable name equals to file dot read lines so we want to read this file line by line and uh, save the output into the variable name words now uh, move to the next line let's have another comment let's process each word and search for a matching hash just like i've explained earlier we can use some iteration for word in the variable we have before words we have our column we have our indentation and uh, we can say word equals to let's trip in case of maybe our, our word list contains some um, extra white spaces or we need to be able to strip off those white spaces so that we have an accurate dictionary so what we're going to do is to uh, use the word the strip so we're using the strip method and um, we're having for that is for our indentation so let's go with the lm hash first uh so lm hash equals to lm hash dot hash we're going to supply word as our parameter right here and we'll go with the nt hash also and uh, nt hash dot hash supply the same parameter 
Okay, this is looking good. Now we need to format the way the output is being printed out and we're going to use the new line escape character to do that. We're going to have print, then we're going to format. We're going to have the F, having the word, um, let's have a variable right here. And we work with the slash n that is the new line escape character then we can specify the lm hash and um let's say the lm hash is going to be so lm variable and also have a new line Lastly, we have the anti hash. So we can also have the variable hash. What we have, uh, we can close the entire bracket. So what we can do is to give one just one line spacing. We can use a conditional statement to check. So let's say we have if if lm underscore hash equals to target hash or nt underscore hash was to target underscore hash. What is going to happen if this condition is met? Uh, we're going to have um, first of all print just one new line, and uh, we can have print found. Let's have a formatting style, matching hash. You can have um, a target that's called hash as the variable. Close our bracket. Uh, so if this condition is met and our hash has been found, then we can break the program. Then else, if a match is not found, we can print I forgot to add, you can have um, print corresponding, you need to be able to see the corresponding password also. It's just going to print it at the front. To call it word, okay. If everything is cool now, so let's break. After break, then we can check the else condition and we can use uh, no matching hash found the word list. We'll stop close this close the bracket and we can save so let's see if we're missing anything okay i think i'm missing column right there and um, everything should be fine so we're going to try to execute the program 
let's add to our script and uh, we're going to use the python the name of the script is ntlm crypt.py the program is able to run through the whole word list and we have uh, some ntlm but unfortunately it was not able to find the hash that matches what we are looking for we have uh, no matching hash found on the word list my bad i think that issue was from me i didn't actually spell the please subscribe appropriately on the word list so what we just need to do to go back to our word list and add the please subscribe okay i think it's now okay so i'm going to save and we're going to rerun our script all right good so let's rerun the script python nt script okay good and you can see corresponding password found please subscribe and this happens to be the hash that matches our password okay guys that will be all in this video you have seen how it could be very easy to dump and crack windows ntlm hash when you have the right tools and word list now if you enjoyed this video please make sure you like subscribe and share see you next time